Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a very nice exponential equation. We have 2 to the power x times 9 to the power x over x minus 1 equals 3 halves. Now we're going to be solving for x values. And I'll be presenting two methods. Let's start with the first one. First method is called no pain, no gain. Okay, so here's what we have. We have an exponential equation. Uh, the product of two exponential expressions. So let's go ahead and log both sides. Why? Because that way you'll be able to bring down the exponents. And the exponents are variables, so it will be a good thing to do. Log 2 to the power x times 9 to the power x over x minus 1 equals log 3 over 2. Of course, you have to log both sides. You can't just do it on one side. Now we have this exponent and that exponent we can bring them down, but first we have to take care of the log of a product. And what is the formula for that? Log AB is log A plus log B. Remember that? So we're going to use that property of logs and expand it first. Log 2 to the x plus log 9 to the power x over x minus 1 equals, and here we have a quotient, so that can be written as log 3 minus log 2. It's just similar to the product, it's just the minus sign because dividing is basically multiplying by the reciprocal. And the reciprocal is something to the power of negative 1, which brings a negative 1 to the front, so on and so forth. So if you know the product rule, you can easily prove the quotient. So far, so good? All right. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to bring this down and we're going to bring this down. Okay, let's do it. So now we get x log 2 plus x over x minus 1 times log 9. You can write the multiplication sign if you want. doesn't matter. No big deal. And the right-hand side is a constant. Notice that we could also keep it as log 3 halves or even call it k. But we're going to put it on the left-hand side pretty soon, so let's leave it at that. Now, what am I supposed to do? I have an x minus 1 at the bottom, right? Like one of the fractions. I don't like that. So let's go ahead and multiply everything by x minus 1. So we can get rid of the fractions because fractions are annoying, right? Don't you think so? Okay, let's go ahead and multiply this and that by x minus 1. And the left-hand side, we're going to distribute x times x minus 1. That's going to give us x squared minus x multiplied by log 2. And then obviously here, x minus 1 is going to cancel out this one and this one. So it's going to leave us with x log 9. And the right-hand side is going to be x minus 1 times log 3. Let's write it that way first. And then I'll simplify next. Okay. And now we can go ahead and split it all up like x squared log 2 minus x log 2 plus x log 9. Let's you know, spread out everything and then we'll take care of it. And then x log 3 minus log 3 minus x log 2 plus, careful here, it's kind of like double negative. Uh, and that is going to be positive or plus log 2. And the whole thing is equal to 0, obviously, right? Okay. Awesome. What are we going to do now? Notice that this is a quadratic in x. And the others are constants, like log 2, log 3, so on and so forth. Let's go ahead and put all the terms together. Like we have only one term for x squared, like this one. So let's go ahead and write it this way. Log 2 as the coefficient of x squared, so that we can make it look more quadratic. And now let's go ahead and put together the um, coefficients of x. Uh, this one is actually log 9 is log 3 squared, so we can write it as 2 log 3. This becomes 2x log 3. Oh, by the way, I forgot the first term. Like, I'm going to write x log 2 first, so let's go ahead and write it as log 2 times x plus 2 log 3 times x minus log 3 times x plus log 2 times x, and then I have plus log 3 minus log 2. So I brought everything down. I put everything on the left-hand side. That's why they negate it. Make sense? Okay. 
this is equal to zero. Now let's go ahead and put the coefficients of x together. Obviously this is going to be a little messy, bear with me. 2 log 3x and minus log 3x is going to give us log 3x. These two are going to cancel out, so we basically end up with log 3 as the coefficient of x only, right? And then plus log 3 minus log 2. So it's fairly simple, right? Don't you think? After all these simplifications. Nice, nice. Now, here's what I'd like to do. This is a quadratic equation, no doubt about it. But I want to find the discriminant and then put it in. Remember, the quadratic formula with the discriminant is negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, but which we can call that the discriminant delta is b squared minus 4ac. And you can just plug that in. Okay? Awesome. Great. Now, here's what we're going to do next. We're going to find the discriminant. What is delta? b squared log 3 squared minus 4 times log 2 times c, which is log 3 minus log 2. Let's go ahead and do the math here to find discriminant, and we can just place it in here. So log 3 squared, nothing we can do about it, but we can distribute this, minus 4 log 2 times log 3, plus 4 log 2 times log 2 is 4 times log 2 squared. Notice that negative times negative again is going to produce a positive term. Now, this is nice if you look at it very carefully and uh, make sure you review your algebra. Here we have a perfect square, and that's perfect. That's what you want. This is log 3 minus 2 log 2 squared. Awesome, because we're going to square root it, and the square is going to disappear, and we're going to end up using this formula. Make sense? Okay, cool. Now let's go ahead and use it. What am I going to do? x equals negative b. What was b again? b is the coefficient of x, which is this, so it's going to be negative b, negative log 3, plus minus the square root of delta. So the square root of delta is just going to be this without the square, log 3 minus 2 log 2. Obviously, we don't need a square root or square anymore, divided by 2a. And a is not 1, a is log 2, so it's going to be 2 log 2. The rest is fairly easy. All we have to do is split it up and find the answers. Let's go ahead and do it. Negative log 3 plus log 3 minus 2 log 2 divided by 2 log 2. Let's not write the parentheses anymore. This is going to be negative 1, as you can see. The other root is going to be negative log 3 minus log 3 plus 2 log 2 divided by 2 log 2. This requires a little bit more work. 2 times log 2 minus log 3 divided by 2 log 2. 2 cancels out and we end up with the other answer as log 2 minus log 3 divided by log 2. Great. So those are going to be the solutions. Let's go ahead and look at the second method real quick because second, <laughs> second method is real quick. So to keep a long story short, we can write our equation. First, let me give you the original problem one more time. We can go ahead and write this as 2 to the x times 2 equals 3 divided by 9 to the power x over x minus 1. And 9 is 3 squared, so we can basically write this as 2 to the power x plus 1 equals 3 divided by 3 to the power 2x over x minus 1. And then this can be written as 3 to the power 1 minus this, which is going to give us negative x minus 1 over x minus 1. Now we have this equals that, which is nice. Let me rewrite it for you. This equals... 3 to the power negative x minus 1 over x minus 1. Here's what we're going to do next. This part is very important. We're going to take out a negative here. So we're going to write this as 2 to the power x minus x plus 1. And then 3 to the power negative 1 times x plus 1 over x minus 1. And then we're going to go ahead and write this as 3 to the power negative 1 over x minus 1 to the power x plus 1. And this is the most critical part of this. Notice that we have x plus 1, so if both exponents are 0, we're good. x plus 1 equals 0 implies x equals, x equals negative 1, that's one of the solutions. And the other solution just comes from here, 3 to the power negative 1 over x minus 1 equals 2. If you solve for x, guess what you get? Log 2 minus log 3 over log 2 as before. And here's the graph, and this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. And this is the zoomed in version, so you can see the two solutions. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.